It is an era of turbulence. A time of uncertainty. The world is changing. Kingdoms emerge and prepare for war. Welcome to Fantasia. Greetings and salutations, everybody. My name is Klautos, and welcome back to the world of Fantasia, where I'm building uh, epic stuff all by myself in this world. <laughs> uh, we are in chapter... I don't know. I don't know what it is, guys. Tell me. I, th I think we're 57. I think. <laughs> uh, in the last episode, we were up here in the castle, and we started building what I think is going to end up being a tavern of sorts, or sort of a guest house. Um, I was thinking about making it uh, a place for the the people who like work in the castle, like their house is kind of like where they live. And uh, I might sort of do like half and half, like it's also a tavern, you know? So, I mean, they're a rowdy bunch. <laughs> so uh, this is what we did in the last one. Um, I really need to get the back of it done and and the inside. Uh, there, there's there's nothing nothing back here yet. This is really really tricky. This because this is such a strange shape, you know. And getting everything to make sense is it's it's I'm I'm, I'm going through it in my head and I, I have a couple ideas. Uh, I like the idea of the wall, the back wall of this this build. This is all gonna be one building. It's going to come over here right along this rampart. So when you're walking along this rampart, there's going to be a wall there. And you can go into the building from that wall. And I think I like that idea a lot. Uh, so we're going to try it and see how it goes. <laughs> and the first thing we need to do is, well, we need to cover this up, right? This all needs to go. But I don't, I, do, uh, I don't want to do that. Let's do, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. We'll take this out. Let's put it here, right? Hold on. Let me, uh, come on, get out there, the uh, thing, thing. There we go. There, just like this. That's what I want. And then the wall's gonna come all the way back. And I think what I'm gonna do is take out all of this. This is gonna go bye-bye. This is gonna be a flat area right here. Um, sort of like a, I don't know, maybe we'll have like some benches or something up there, you know, people can chill out up in this area. Uh, so, yeah, so that has to go, that has to go, that, ah, don't fall. Do not fall. Um, and all of this is going to be filled with, well, first we need cobblestone around the outside, and then we're going to put some wood on the inside. There, just like that, just like that, now it's flat. So now, what I want to do is take this wall... And we're gonna bring it up, uh, I don't know, quite a bit, I think. Maybe we'll do... Oh, we gotta, we gotta fix some of this up in here. Uh, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, wall. Let's bring it like this, and then I kinda want it to come in like this a little bit. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. I wanna, wanna play with that sort of thing. Uh, see what it does. Maybe we'll come out like this. We'll go three, and then we'll go in three, and then out three, we'll do out four, and then another three, boom, boom, boom. And then we'll connect it up there, right? So that way there, there's just a little bit of shape to the wall. And like, maybe we'll put like a door right in there, right? And then uh, maybe another door there and another door here. And like on the inside, it could be like a, a little, little living space, a little gathering area. <laughs> Let me get this wall put up. I'll see you guys in just a second. There we go. How's this? How's this, huh? I like it. I like it. That's kind of what I was going for. Uh, no details yet. And I still need to figure out exactly how I want to top this thing off. Uh, now I have, I have cobblestone there and I'm going to do the, uh, the, the wool here so we can do our sort of, uh, waddle and daub style up there. And I'm, I'm thinking about putting like an indentation here. Like maybe this is some kind of a balcony, like an outdoor sort of seating area. And it'll also give the, the build a little bit more shape, so it's not just flat all the way up, you know. 
I have these little indentations here, and, and, and that helps. Uh, but, you know, the more the merrier, right? <laughs> so, so we're going to do it like that. Um, but uh, I'm not exactly sure exactly how I want the roofs to go. I, I, was, I, I put some in, then I took them down, then I put some in and took them down. Um, I need to, to, you know, ring my brain on that one for a little bit before I go any further. So, uh, in the meantime, I think what I would like to do is go over to the Hall of Patrons. Because we have a new patron to add. So let's go and do that, huh? And then maybe we'll do a comment of the day. Alright guys, we're here at the Valley of Patrons. With our, uh, nifty little Hall of Patrons there. We've got uh, Nathan Eats Souls Monument over there. Today, uh, we need to induct another uh, orc into the Hall of Patrons. So let's grab some of this stuff. And, uh, <coughs> oh man, my throat's drying out already. Come on, throat. Do not die on me. Uh, yeah, okay, anyway. <laughs> did, I, did I get, oh, I did, I did, here we go. Okay, all right, so let's go. Um, let's see, let's, how about, how about right up here? How about right here? We'll do, right, like that. And then, let's grab, oh, I didn't grab a thing. I didn't grab a thing. Let me grab a thing. This is an armor stand. I, I kind of need one of those. Okay, armor stand. Boom, just like that. Uh, today, we are going to welcome Zerberu into the Hall of Patrons, and he is joined at the Orc level, which is awesome. Many thanks, dude. I really, really appreciate it. Tremendously. Well, let's get those on there, and let's get Zerberu's head. And we'll put his head up there. So, we're gonna go slash give Klautos. Um, what is that? Minecraft player head. And then we go that and then Skull Owner Zerberu. And I think that'll do. Oh, there it is. Awesome. <laughs> He's a zombie. I like your head, dude. <laughs> well done. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. All of you, thank you for your support. And uh, since he's joined at the Orc level, that means that, uh, well, he gets a monument. Okay, just like our pal Nathan Eats Souls over there. And I picked out a place for it already. I want it to go right here. Okay, I think this is a good spot for one. I built this little, uh, uh, no, what do you call it? Platform right here. And uh, it's directly across from Nathan Eats Souls. And I need to get some kind of a bridge. I really need to come in this area and get some work done. Just, just you know, functional stuff, you know, because there's no road other than that little one down there. Uh, there's no bridge going over. I have to, I've got to fly. I don't, you know, whatever. Um, so anyway, so let's do let's do a statue. And I have a pretty cool idea of one. I don't know if I want to build it on camera though. Um, actually, what I need to do is put this stuff back, and then we'll see about uh, we'll see about getting that done. And through the magic of editing, we come out of the door, and oh my goodness, it's already there. Look at that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I wanted to build just a just a knight, some kind of a knight statue with his sword. You know, I've seen a lot of these in, in Minecraft. People build statues like this. Um, it's not really the best. I've seen better, but hey, you know what? I did it, and that's why I love it. <laughs> so here's here's a little sign for Zerberu, and uh, I did a little bit of terraforming on the outside, make it kind of look nice. Got got the smoke effect going around behind him. Uh, come back here, he's got sort of a cape that he's wearing. And, uh, you know, I like the spikes so much on Nathan Eats Soul's head that uh, I figured I'd give him some too. <laughs> so he's got this cool helmet with like this mouth guard there. I really like it, I like the way it came out. Um, <coughs> uh, let's see, I think, I think that's all I wanna do to it. Um, maybe, yeah, I think, I think that'll do. Uh, maybe one day I'll come up with a better design and I'll switch it out for that one, you know? One thing I, what I'd really like to do for, for all the patrons that have monuments, I'd really like to have just one monument that I can just come in and, and prop it up, because, I mean, these take a long time 
to put together. <laughs> It'd be cool if I just had like one monument and like like they were all the same. And I know having them all the same is a little boring, but It'd be nice if I could just come in here. I knew exactly what I was going to do. I was going to put it down because this took a long time to do. It took a long time to do. And I got I got the rest of the video to record, guys. Anyway, <laughs> that's that's in the future. Maybe I'll come up with a cool design and I'll, I'll switch these out for, for that. But I want to make sure it's something that you guys like. So I'm not going to do it if you guys aren't happy with it. Um, anyway, so let's go on over to the comment of the day. And let's get on. Uh, let's let's let, let's let's pick out a good one. And then, uh, and then we'll have a little, maybe a little discussion. I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys, we're here at the Wizard Tower where we keep the comments of the day. I need to come over here and get a road built. Some kind of pathway that leads up the mountain and up there. I need to, I need to get that done. There's so much I got to do in this world. <laughs> but the path comes up here. Let, let's take the journey. Uh, now, I don't have stairs going up to the top of the tower. Uh, I, I will eventually... And, you know, you know, maybe we could do that today. Maybe we could do it right now. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really have the time. I don't really have the time. Uh, but I do like coming up this path. It's very nice. And we have a little door here going into the tower. The tower is bare. And there's no stairs going up to the top. <laughs> so we're just going to fly. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a wizard tower. So who knows? Maybe the wizard can fly. He's that powerful, huh? So let's just... Fly on up here to the very tippity tippity top. And that is the build height right there. I think it's about time for Minecraft to increase the build height again. It's been a long time. That would be great. <laughs> anyway, so. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Okay, so uh, comment of the day. Let's uh, let me let me clear my inventory. Get rid of all that stuff. Boop. And let's put that back there. Okay, today's comment of the day also comes from our brand new patron. It comes from Zerberu, and he says, and I picked this one uh, because it gave me something to kind of talk about and something to build at the same time. So, uh, Zerberu says, how about that free space you were talking about near the beginning of the episode? A small statue would fit nicely there, perhaps in honor of your dog. By the way, I think I missed his name. Tell us a nice story about your dog. And I would love to do that because I love my dog. Uh, <laughs> let's clear these. Uh, let's get back over to the human kingdom and uh, let's let's build another statue. Today is the episode of the statues. All right, so we're back here and uh, the area he was talking about, if you didn't see the last episode, first of all, I highly recommend you go and watch it because it's awesome. Um, I was talking about this area and something to do in this area. And I think what I want to do is have like a storage, like a wood storage. Because for a castle this big, you need a big hefty wood pile. And I think this is a good spot for it. Right inside the King's Bailey, uh, right next to his castle, right? So uh, we may even have some kind of an entrance where he can bring the wood here into the castle. Maybe, maybe right there we'll have a door going into the castle. Be like sort of a secondary entrance. Uh, I'm fine with that. Or they could carry it up the main walkway and all that stuff. That seems like it's way out of the way when they could just go right in there. Uh, or maybe just right in here. But I think right in here, that wouldn't be practical because right inside of this is... Yeah, this is a guest room. <laughs> so we can't do that. Um, so this is the area... I also mentioned maybe a statue in here. And so this is what he was talking about. Maybe putting a statue here... Uh, in honor of my dog. Um, but I think I'm going to do wood storage here. But I do have another place where a statue might, might fit. And I think maybe we'll play around with the idea a little bit today. And that is right over here on this platform. Now, I've been thinking about something to do here. Um, I wanted to put a catapult, you know, or a, uh, a, a trebuchet. Something to, to f you know, to combat any would-be... Uh, I don't know, sie siege in years, <laughs> right? I think it makes a lot of sense to have one there. However, a statue here would also look really cool. Um, now, my dog, his, his name is Vortex, and if you're lucky, maybe I'll flash a couple of pictures of him up on the screen. Uh, yeah, he's he's the cutest puppy ever. He's seven years old, but he's still a puppy. He's, he's a big puppy. And uh, <laughs> so 
uh, his name is Vortex. He is a schnauzer. And, uh, <clears throat> man, my throat's drying out. Give me a second, guys. I gotta, I gotta take a sip of my, my, oh, I'm bumping the microphone. I'm a professional Minecrafter. I'm not moving, but check this out. Oh. Okay, I don't think you guys could hear that. Anyway, I, I don't care. I don't care about being professional. <laughs> I need a drink. I'm going to take a drink. Anyway, um, so yeah, he is a schnauzer, and he's actually laying down right here taking a nap by me while I record this video. Um, but I really like schnauzers. I always have. Ever since I got one when I was a kid, I had a schnauzer named Vinny, and that was short for Winzig, which means tiny in German because he's a, you know, schnauzer's a German dog. Uh, and uh, yeah, he, he was a really good dog. Very, very loyal, very smart. And so I wanted to get another schnauzer. Uh, Vinny, he died when I was, I don't know, this is a long time ago. In 2006, maybe he died. But anyway, so, uh, but yeah, Vortex is awesome. He is, he's my buddy. He's my buddy. And you know, they say like, whenever, um, let's see, let's go around, uh, let's make this little wider. I'm, I'm thinking like the neck right here. Okay. Neck and then the head. Um, and I don't think I'm going to make a schnauzer here. I think, you know, a, a wolf would suffice because, you know, Vortex, he's my little wolf, right? I don't care what you say. He's my little wolf. <laughs> so let's, let's bring up, maybe, maybe we'll do some ears like this. I'm just trying to get like a, you know, generic shape, uh, going, I'm trying to imagine where his muzzle might be. Maybe like that. Something like that. Maybe that's too big. And maybe the top of his head needs to be like this. Something like that. Let's do this for his ears like that. Yeah, see, see the, the shape of the wolf head? And I'm making it out of stone because I want it to look like it was carved, right? Uh, I think that'll be cool. So we'll go boom, doom, 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 doom. And bring this out a bit. Do we want him to have a button nose? No, I don't think so. So this needs to come out more like that. Nope, not that much. That's too much. Too much. Oh man, this is tricky. This is very tricky. I think... That's a good basic shape, but his ears are a little too big. Just a little too big. Um... That's okay, we can fix it. Let's get the back of his head. Maybe it comes out like this. And then it comes down. And then it goes back in. Something like that. Do you kind of see it? Kind of see a wolf head neck thing going on there? Yeah? I see it. I see it. And maybe the front of his neck comes out like this. And then back. How's that? How's that? Maybe I should look at it over here. <laughs> where I'm not smacking myself into the roof there. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like that. That's nice. A little, a little bit of throat fur right there. I think that'll work. Okay, I'm going to fill this in. Uh... Get a little more done. We'll, we'll see what we come up with. All right, guys, I'm back. This is what I got so far. And uh, it's still rather blocky, but I like the way the ears are shaped. Um, I can't decide if I want him to kind of go out like that or just remain pointed. I don't know. I, th I think that'll do. I don't know. It's not. It kind of looks like a camel, not a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay that's okay it's fine uh let's do uh another one like this and like this no wait hold on did i do that right i didn't i didn't there there we go okay that looks cool now he looks a little derpy from the front like he's got little eyeballs hmm oh nope Let's try, maybe we smooth it out a little bit. Like this. Is 
And maybe his mouth is kind of open. So let's try... Mm, let's get some slabbage like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. That'll do. Maybe two more, or two more. Two! We'll go doom, 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 like that, and then... You know, the wolves will sometimes have these little beard-looking things, right? Kind of like that. These need to come out. Those need to come out. And then this needs to be... No. 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 Maybe that? Maybe. Maybe. Oh yeah, he'll have some teeth. Like maybe some, some teeth kind of stuff. Oh, now he looks like he has saber teeth. No. <laughs> it's tricky doing these organic things. Especially on camera. It's very tricky. Uh, let's... Okay, no, no, he definitely, that needs to be that. Um... I don't know, I kind of, I kind of just like it like that. What do you guys think? Is that, will that do? Does that look like a wolf enough or does it look like a camel? <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's kind of wolfish. Kind of wolfish. I might play around with it a little bit between episodes, maybe come up with a better design or something, I don't know. I don't know, this, oh, hey, you know what, I just thought of something. I thought of something. I thought of something cool. Check this out. We're gonna use our little debug stick. This is Builder's best friend. Here's what we're gonna do, check this out. We're gonna go, facing half shape. That. And then we need to face this one there. There, now he has teeth. See? Oh, that's good. Oh, oh, that's what it needed. That's what it needed right there. Uh, and then we'll do that. And then mm, that. And that. No. That. So he's a wolf with a pharaoh beard. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And yes, I'm only using stone. Because this is a statue. I'm not going to be putting a bunch of other stuff on it, right? How is it? I think that'll do for now. It looks like a wolf. We'll call that, we'll call that the statue of Vortex in honor of my, my, my little puppo. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, that's, uh, I think that's gonna do it for this episode, you guys. Sorry we didn't get a whole lot done, but, uh, this was all, this was, this, this, this was really time consuming, just this little bit, just this little bit, and, you know, I wish I had all the time in the world to record for you guys, unfortunately I don't, uh, <laughs> I think by the next episode we'll definitely get the back of that done, and, uh, maybe start building out here, right? We'll start building... Uh, some of the greater kingdom out here. I think that'll be cool. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. It's, it helps out my channel tremendously. And subscribe if you haven't already. And hope to see you guys in the next chapter of Fantasian. Until that time, be excellent to each other. And farewell. I'm falling. There we go, farewell. Farewell. <laughs>